hello welcome back to my youtube channel if today is your first time watching please don't forget to press the notification bell so that each time i post a video you have a view of it um, many people have been sending me dms about how to get a visa to germany so today we are going to talk about how to be granted a visa to germany we have two types of uh, visa visas we have the tourist visa or Schengen visa or visit visa and then we have what spouse or reunion or family visa i don't know if you are getting me we have two types of visas we have visit visa and then reunion visa that is the family visa and then the tourist visa or visit visa is also called schengen visa this schengen visa means you uh, with the this thing with the a tourist visa you can uh, go to so many european country with it so with the visit visa the requirements are first you have to have enough money in your bank accounts and then you have to be working and then you have to be sure or german uh, government have to be sure that you are not going to be a burden to them when you come to what germany so this is what the distinct requirements for the what visit visa or tourist or schengen visa that one doesn't require any language but when you come to the distinct family or spouse or reunion visa that one the requirements are first of all you have to get what your language certificate that is a eins when we say a eins that is in german that means a1 certificate you have to go for the what language course so that you get the certificate we have different types of certificate but with the family or reunion visa it's only uh, this thing it needs uh, only what a1 and then you have to what have a uh, this thing just a certificate just a certificate and then um marriage certificate and then there's another one you get from the marriage office that is the registrar's certificate and then one thing you have to take note is that your and then birth sets original birth sets you have to your birth date of birth on your birth certificate has to match with your what jss junior high school certificates your date of birth have to what match with your what jss certificates that is very very important your date of birth has to match with all your certificates so yes with a family or reunion visa they don't even care about your degrees about your masters they don't care about that what they care much is about your jss certificate and then the your date of birth on the jss certificate has to match with what your uh with your birth sets is very important and another one is your ss certificates it's uh, all your date of birth has to match and then another important thing is this thing uh, the marriage certificate the date on your marriage certificates you have to take notice and then the witnesses on your what your marriage certificate because you are going to be asked at the interview when they call you for the what for the visa you have to know those witnesses on your marriage certificate is very very important and then the dates sometimes to um uh, they will ask you how you met your husband those things they will ask you where you met how and then they will even ask you the parent uh, the parents of your spouse your partner they can ask you they can just ask you anything and then you have to make sure that all the questions that you'll be asked at the embassy after the interview you have to call your spouse your that is your sponsor who the person that you are coming to you have to call the person and inform the person that this is the question that i've been asked because after your interview uh, the embassy will call your spouse either your wife or your husband who is in the in germany they will ask him or her questions so when what the what they will ask you has to uh, what match with what your husband is going to say when uh, this thing you uh, they find out that both of you are lying that means because these days people forge because of uh, because people want to travel somebody can just 
say it's my husband is my wife and then it has come to their notice so this time they are very uh, they want to be sure and then they want to be specific about all that they are doing and then sometimes your facial expression when you are the uh, this thing when they are interviewing you they will check everything to make sure to see if really the person is your husband or the person is your wife so it's very important it's very 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 important all this thing has to what be taken into what consideration yes and then another thing is the registrar's certificates that one you will take it uh, from the what marriage what uh certificate where you did your marriage certificate that's why you take the register uh, this thing your date of birth your date of birth um for example if uh maybe on your jsa certificate maybe it's supposed to be maybe 15th of february and then maybe it's 14th of february that one the difference is not much maybe it's a mistake they made because it was supposed to be 15th and then they made it they made it 14th so with that one you can go to the high court and what do affidavits they would they would uh, this thing give you a letter to be uh, to put it on your what your, your this thing your certificates the mistakes certificate you'll be added to it so that you can take it to what to the embassy that one is not a problem and then another mistakes that people are making and then they don't know that is affecting them is that uh, because they don't want much questions or they don't uh, some people don't even go to the what uh, the school for their certificates so they will go to the embassy and then lie that uh, I, i've not i've never attended school so that things will be easier for them but they don't know that it's affecting them okay uh, what it is is that this is what happens if you tell a lie that you've never attended school when you come to german it will affect you because in german they deal with what computer all everybody's information is on what is on their system unlike ghana ghana they they can do anything they, they don't take uh, this thing records so there's no reference about what people but here before you come your everything is on their system wherever you travel to germany they have your information so should in case you tell a lie that you've never attended school it will affect you when you come to germany you cannot do anything about schooling because you've already told them that you've never attended school so if you want to maybe if you want to further your this thing your education you cannot what you cannot proceed you can't you can't because you've already told them that you've never attended what school that is ignorance you don't have to do that if you have attended school make sure you get the requirements so that things will be easier for you and then when you come to german because in germany schools are this thing schools are um you don't pay money you don't you don't just pay uh, money maybe you you buy your books and then some certain things and then you can go to school somebody like me i have my degree if i want to do my master's degree it's just easy i don't have to pay anything i have to just apply and then it will be granted so this is it choose bye bye